Hello once again, this is Brother Teacher. One of my subscribers uh, asked me to do a video on insomnia, and I'm doing that right now. Uh, I had planned on doing this before, but uh, the very fact that he just recently mentioned it to me uh, prompted me to want to do the video now. I'm not going to uh, bother your patience too long, but I just want to sort of highlight the uh, situation concerning or the situations concerning uh, what we call insomnia or lack of sleeping and the inability to sleep. First of all, let me point out uh, what causes insomnia or uh, the inability to get proper rest. There's a few things, there's a few key things amongst uh, others and uh, let's begin with this one. First of all, medication that is prescribed by your doctor could cause insomnia. That's one. Also, a very common reason for insomnia or restlessness during sleeping hours, as it were, is the fact that you perhaps eat a meal before you go to bed. Never, ever eat before you go to bed. Digestion is supposed to occur during your waking hours, during the time that you're up and moving around, not when you're asleep. When you're asleep, your body is supposed to be repairing itself, not trying to repair itself and digest food. Now, remember this, write this on your thumb. Digestion, the act of digestion, uses more bodily energy, resources, energy of your body than any other activity that you can engage in. Digestion uses more energy than any exercise program, no matter how intense it is. Uh, more than anything that you can do, digestion uses more energy to break your food down and to assimilate it and then to excrete or eliminate the waste. Digestion does that. So because your body is using that much energy, why would you tax your body even more trying to break down food while your body is supposed to be repairing itself while you're asleep? So that's another reason people may have insomnia and not be able to have a restful sleep is because your body is still working hard to break down the food that's in your gut. Okay? Another reason, another key reason that people um, have issues with insomnia is because of stress. You lost your job, you're having problems on your job, you're in between jobs trying to find a job. That can cause stress and it keeps you stimulated. Your pineal gland, it keeps you stimulated and you can't rest because you're worried, you're concerned and that's a form of stress. That can keep you awake or have irregular sleeping patterns and the stress even of your personal relationship with your companion or your wife or girlfriend just left you you're not sure about your present relationship it could be social it could be that it could be that your children are doing bad in school and they're acting out and things of this nature it could be that you have lost a relative and that you have not really come to closure with that or someone close to you even and that's laden in the back of your brain, in the back of your mind, in your subconscious, and it's bothering you and, and it's causing these episodes where you can't sleep very well. Another reason that you could have insomnia or not be able to sleep properly is because of the shift that you work on your job. Understand this, ladies and gentlemen, my friends, my brothers, my sisters out there. Out there. Nature intended for man to rise when the sun rises and to go to sleep when the sun sets. You want to think about it for a moment? When the sun rises is when men originally got up to go to work and when the sun sets that's when men go to sleep. That is the normal cycle of the human body. Have you ever noticed that the early part of the dawning of the day early in the morning between 5 or 6 o'clock in most places you begin to hear the birds you know why they're waking up 
that is the same time we are supposed to be getting up to go to work. Now, the different shifts on a job, first, second, and third shifts, were created by men to accommodate uh, their uh, intended schedules and, and whatever their particular agendas were. Once industries start to flourish in the world, people begin to create these different job shifts you know to accommodate their corporation or their business so they made the first shift the second shift and the third shift now just because they did that doesn't mean that it was friendly or kind to us the human being to try to force yourself to stay awake on a third shift job by drinking coffee all night and taking no dose or all of these energy drinks like Red Bull and Monster and Rip It and all of that it's not normal for your body for you to fight sleep so when you get off of second shift for example in the evening and then you're trying to go to sleep or trying to catch up on the meal that you missed because you have altered your body's clock natural clock biological clock then you're not going to sleep well or when you get off of a third shift where you work from 11 to 7 and you're getting off in the morning and you can't sleep very well go figure it is because you are altering your body's natural biological clock so with that said here is a possible remedy for most of you because we're all different one thing that you can do first of all avoid dairy milk I know it's been said in time past that warm milk can help you go to sleep and that's true but milk dairy milk is not good for us you already know my stance on that hopefully if you're gonna drink milk drink almond milk make sure that it's not pasteurized milk pasteurization is a heating process that kills all of the, nu the nutrition in the milk okay so warm almond milk before you go to bed that's number one or a green tea hot green tea or chamomile tea even peppermint tea okay that has a calming effect and relaxation for your body and that can enable you to get proper rest as well right before you go to bed a warm bath for no longer than 10 or 15 minutes and you dry off you have your tea and you lie down that can calm your body down as well and your as well as your mind okay now when you take this hot or warm bath you want to try to put some Epsom salts in it because it contains magnesium. Magnesium is a muscle relaxer as well. You can take it internally as well for other reasons. We'll discuss that later. But right now, you can take and put a half a cup of, what did I say, Epsom salts in your bath water. Sit there for 10 to 15 minutes, as hot as you can stand it, but not too hot. And then you can go to bed right after you have your tea. Now, here's one key component to good rest. If you can at all control this, please do. Make sure that you turn off all televisions, all laptops, all cell phones and similar devices at least an hour before you go to sleep. Because these devices emit radiation, they emit a blue light that stimulates your pineal gland and you are confusing yourself your brain making your brain thinks that you're supposed to be up and awake when you're not supposed to be so if you feel it necessary to use your phone make sure that you get all of your business out of the way about an hour before you go to bed the same is true if you feel like you have to go online and take care of some business or order something online and so forth, try to get that stuff done about an hour before you go to sleep. And television, I know sometimes we have those favorite programs. If you have some cable or dish or something like that and you can DVR it, try to do that and watch it during the daytime or at least way before it's time for you to go to bed. Uh, an hour before you should conclude your programming all right it should be dark in your room draw all of the curtains in your room closed so you don't have any outside street lights 
or anybody pulling into their drive at night and the headlights shining inside your window or even the stars or a bright moon shining inside your window you want to eliminate all of that outside interference light wise okay even if you have to get to the point where you can put a mask over your ear excuse me not your ears but over your eyes to help you to sleep you want to be in darkness that's the reason when you go to sleep you close your eyes you close your eyes because your body knows you're supposed to be in darkness plus you're resting your eyes as well so understand this when you go to sleep at night it's supposed to be dark in your room not light no night light no lamps no television laptop uh, tablets cell phones turn that crap off about an hour before you go to sleep and then you will see clearly to have great rest this is my help to you on insomnia I hope it was beneficial for most of you now stay away from the over-the-counter insomniatic type drugs stay away from sleeping pills stay away from all of these other prescription pills for insomnia insomnia can be controlled by you because it's a natural thing when you don't do the things for your body that you're supposed to be doing and when you're going against nature all you have to do is change back to nature or as close as you possibly can and then you will be okay and you won't need all of these prescription and over-the-counter drugs because when you use these things they overtax your liver and your kidneys and you don't want to damage your liver and your kidneys okay I love you and Yahweh love you take this advice okay and I'll see you in the next video this is brother teacher and I'm out